everybody and welcome to Interval Training with me, Coach Megan. I'm excited to have y'all today. I think it's going to be a super fun one and I'm super excited. So just as a reminder, if you're not a Team MK Fitness member, please do this workout at your own risk. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into that warm up so we can get the maximum effect of this 30 minute full body workout. We're going to go ahead and grab that right leg, pulling that leg behind you, keeping that knee close. We're going to stretch out that quad right here in the front. We're going to keep that spine nice and neutral, core tight and engaged. So like I said, super fun class. I'm super pumped about it. All you need is a mat, a chair, a pair of moderate dumbbells, and a resistance band or a towel. Go ahead and switch legs. We're going to switch to that left leg. Grabbing that foot, keeping that knee close to that right knee. Keeping that core nice and engaged. That was nice and neutral here. Good, and bring that leg down. And we're just gonna go ahead and bend over, reach your toes. We've got a ladder style workout for this first half, and then we'll mix it up toward the second half. And stand it up. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple of creeper lunges. So what those look like, we're gonna have those feet spread a little bit wider than you normally would for our squat. And we're gonna lean to one side, then to the other. We're gonna add a little bit of a reach in there, Again, that core warmed up, little bit of a twist, and nice and stretched for the rest of our workout. The most important thing you need today, though, is definitely a smile on your face. We're going to have some fun today. Going to get those endorphins flowing, and we're going to get need water. So make sure you have a water right beside you to stay hydrated. Good, and bring those feet together. We're going to do a warm-up exercise that I'll call, call the Michael Phelps. If you've ever seen him before he starts swimming, kind of just flaps his arms just like this. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to warm up those back muscles that we're going to put to good use today. So go ahead and kind of bend over. Brace that core, keeping that chin tucked. A form that we'll be using a lot today. Good, just swing those arms out a couple more times. Three, two, one. Good, and stand it back up. To finish out this warm-up, we're going to warm up those shoulders a little bit more. We're going to take that right arm, bring it forward, and you're just going to spin it in a clockwise circle, okay? Taking it a couple times around. Got to get all those body parts nice and warmed up. And clockwise. Good, and switch to that left arm. We're going to go clockwise. And counterclockwise. Good, and stand it up. We are ready to work out and work out hard today. We have, for that first section, we have a ladder style workout. So we're gonna progressively add an exercise each round. So I wanna introduce that exercise while we are taking a break and getting water. But that first exercise we're gonna do for 30 seconds. We are gonna do a thruster. So what that looks like, we're gonna pick up our dumbbells here. All right, once we have those dumbbells on our hand, we're gonna have them at our shoulders, and we're gonna squat down. So our toes are pointed forward, our core is braced, squeezing those glutes, bending down, and pushing everything straight up, okay? Everything comes down, everything goes up. So we have those for 30 seconds. We are working those legs and those shoulders here. In three, two, one. Here we go, y'all. I'm telling you, we're jumping right into this workout. Getting our bodies moving, getting sweating. Pressing those feet into the ground. Try to grip that floor. You're 10 seconds in. Good work. Focus on that form. Form over reps here. That's how we improve and that's how we don't get injured. Good, nice press, stay strong, and rest. All right, exercise number two. Still having those dumbbells. We are working out the back here. So we are gonna do a dumbbell row to a dumbbell fly. Okay, so what that looks like, we are gonna bend up those hips, so we're gonna hinge up those hips, brace that core, tuck that chin, okay? And we are gonna pull to that row, bring it out, and then out to the side, row again. Okay, it's a little bit of a mix here. Now, if that's a little 
little bit difficult, we can do it one side at a time. So, what you do, you have a little stagger stance here, right leg in front, left leg behind. We're gonna row with that left arm, so still same, same cues here. Brace that core, tuck that chin, row, bring it straight down, and bring that dumbbell out. All right? And I will let you know we're switching halfway through. So you can either do both at the same time for 30 seconds, or I'll say halfway through and then you can switch arms, okay? So here we go. We are gonna start with that thruster. So remember, 30 seconds for that thruster, 30 seconds for that fly. That's how we make our way up the ladder. Are y'all ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. We got that thruster. Point those toes in front and press up tall. Focus on that form. Our core is braced. Our chest is nice and tall. Good work, y'all. You're killing it. Pressing those feet into the floor. Five more seconds. Woo! And rest. Here we go. We're transitioning to that row to fly. Remember, you can do both at the same time. Or I'll call halfway through and you can do one side at a time. Here we go. In three, two, one, and row. When you're rowing, pull out those elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Breathe it in through your nose, out through your mouth. And switch sides if you're doing one hand, one side at a time. Good. Keep those feet nice and pressed into the ground. Good work, everyone. Got about five seconds here. Three, two, one. Finish up that rep. Quick break while I introduce to exercise number three and four, actually. All right, so we're gonna do these two back to back. We're gonna do an assisted RDL. So that's why we have this chair with us, okay? So we're just gonna pull that chair a little bit closer and we're gonna start with that right side. So that right side, we're gonna have that fit planted into the ground and the chair is on the side that, of the leg that we're picking up. So that left foot is going in the air. So when we do that RDL, we are holding that chair and reaching down toward that ankle, keeping that core nice and tight and in line. And it's a nice straight plank right here, nice straight line. And then you're gonna pull up, reset that form and down again. Check your form here and back up. We're gonna do 30 seconds, right side first, then we'll switch 30 seconds for the left side. But we're going back to the top with those thrusters and then that row to fly. Are y'all ready? Here we go, we have 30 seconds of thrusters in three, two, one. Here we go. And I told y'all this workout was gonna be fun today. Come on, keep up that good work. Core is braced, chest is nice and tall. Press everything up, bring everything down. Good work. Y'all got five seconds. Push out those reps. And here we go, we're switching to that row to fly. If you need to, we can switch halfway through if you're doing a single arm row to fly, okay? Here we go, in three, two, one. Brace that core, chin is tucked, our feet are screwed into the ground. Oh yeah, y'all, keep up that good work. And switch, because we're halfway through if you're doing that single arm row. Pull with those elbows. Nice and slow. We are all focused 
on that form today. That's how we get better. That's how we improve. Those hips stay square to the ground. Good work, y'all. Good, power through, you got five seconds. Finish out that rep here and switching legs. So, we're on that left leg now. Left leg on the ground, we're gonna pick that right foot up. That right leg is gonna be the sides of the chair, okay? So here we go, we have 30 seconds in three, two, one, and go down. Left foot is screwed into the ground. Check your form when you're at the bottom, making sure that back is nice and long. Now, if you still feel unstable in this RDL with the chair, you can keep that back leg on the ground. Still pushing those hips back and pulling up. All right. Good work, everyone. Got five seconds. Feel it in the back of your hamstrings and standing up. Good job, y'all. All right. This is where we need that resistance band for exercise number five. Or is it exercise number four? Might be exercise number four that we have. All right, resistance band. We want that band nice and tight. If you have a towel, pull it with as much tension as you can. All right, we're gonna do a nice little lat pull. So with that band with tension, you're gonna hold it out in front of you up high. And we're just gonna pull back, keeping that tension all the way through, push up keeping that tension all the way through, okay? So that's exercise number four, but remember we're gonna start all the way at the beginning with exercise number one with those thrusters, okay? Y'all keep up the good work. In three, two, one, here we go. Feet forward, core braced, press up into those thrusters. Woo, keep it up y'all. Good work. Press nice and tall, keeping that core engaged throughout the entire movement. Woo, make sure we're breathing. Three, two, one. Woo, here we go. We're switching to that row to fly. I'll let you know when we're halfway through if you're doing that single row to single fly, okay? Here we go. In three, two, one. Brace that core. Good. Pull up those elbows. Out to that fly. Good work, y'all. Come on. Find that intensity. Push through. You're halfway there. Good, three, two, one. Get that last rep in there, y'all. Good. We are to that assisted RDL with that right leg. So that left leg is next to the chair, holding that chair with your left hand. Here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go, hinging on those hips. Brace that core. Reset that form when you're down here. Tuck that chin and pull up. Good work, y'all. Pressing that foot into the ground. Keep those hips square. Oh yeah, y'all got five seconds. See how many more reps you can get in. This actually might be my favorite exercise that we've done today. And switch it up, we've got that left RDL in three, two, one. Y'all have to let me know your favorite. We're only halfway through the class though. So there's a couple more exercises that could possibly creep up there. Pushing those hips back behind you. Good. Remember, reset that form when you're at the bottom of that exercise and when you're pulling to the top, okay? Good work, you got 10 seconds. Push that left foot into the floor. 
Good, and relax. We got that band in lap, we all. Come on, we're almost through this round. Pull that band tight, and three, two, one, and pull back. So here we want those knees nice and soft. Tension throughout that rope all during this 30 seconds, okay? Our core is nice and tight. Our body is stable. Only those lats are working here. Come on. You're about halfway through. Keep that tension. Good work, y'all. Three, two. Good work. Shake it out. Go ahead and grab some water, and we're going to go into... Alright, we're going to go into round number two, okay? So we're going to leave all of our equipment to the side. All body weight right here. We have two quick supersets. Each exercise is going to be 30 seconds. We're going to go through each superset twice, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to do a one-fourth squat with a jab on our right side, and then we'll switch straight to that one-fourth squat jab on the left side. So what that looks like, okay? With the full squat, those toes are in front, and we're going all the way down here, okay? With that fourth squat, we're just going to flip in our knees and standing up. So that whole movement together is going to look like this. So fourth squat, standing quick, jab on that right side, and we'll repeat. So you're going to jab when you come up, then we'll squat, jab, okay? 30 seconds on that right side, then we'll go straight to that 30 seconds on the left. It's going to be hard work, y'all. We're going to be doing those one four squats for one minute, but it's worth it. So here we go. In three, two, one. 30 second jab on the right. I really want you to increase that intensity here. That heart rate should be going up nice and high. Come on. One first squat, quick jab. Still keep that form. Our core is tight this entire time, nice and engaged. Our form doesn't waver. Y'all got this. I see ya. Come on. Pick up that pace. We're going to switch to that left side. In three, two, one. Switch to that left. Come on. I told you we were doing these four squats for one minute. Don't worry, y'all. Get a quick break after this. Come on. Woo! This is where we got to dig deep. Keep it up. I know it hurts. Woo! Ten seconds here. And rest. Go ahead and get you some water. We have one more round of those. All right, so that's going to be one minute on the one-fourth squats. Switching at the 30-second mark from that right jab to that left jab. Woo! Man, I don't know about y'all, that, um, that one got my heart rate up and pumping. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. In three, two, one. And forward squat, jab. Forward squat, jab. Keep up that good work. Don't lose your form, okay? Try to still put that weight in your heels. Pressing those feet into the ground as hard as you can, okay? And of course, keep that smile on your face while we're working hard. Go work. Got about 10 seconds here, then we're switching to that left. And left side, come on. Finish strong here. Y'all got 10 seconds, come on. Chest up tall. Three, two, one, shake it out. Good work, everybody. We're still, have one more round, but we're gonna add a little bit of a twist, okay? So, next super set. We're gonna do that one-fourth squat. Yeah, that one-fourth squat. Stand up with that little jab. Then we're going to take a little bit of a cross action, okay? So we want to get that torso twist nice and involved. 
We want that core nice and tight as we're twisting. Okay, we're picking up that left heel when we're going right, okay? A nice little pivot here, okay? And we're gonna do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, okay? Still with that one fourth squat. Hang with me guys, we got this. We're gonna switch back to back just like we did that first round. So here we go. Right side jab and cross. In three, two, one. Get that fourth squat jab, cross with that little bit of a pivot. Come on, get that torso nice and tight. Engage in that core here. Keep up that good work, everybody. Hopefully this is working that, on that coordination a little bit. I know it is for me. Just gonna gotta think about it a little bit more, but that's what we like. Here we go, we got five seconds here. Then we're switching to that left jab and cross. Three, two, one. Here we go, left side, fourth squat, jab, cross. Come on, bring that intensity. Make sure we're lifting that heel off the uh, right foot. Get a nice little turn. Start killing it today, come on. We're gonna get a quick little shake out on these legs and then we'll do this for one more round. Three, two, one. Shake it out, okay? Good work, y'all keep up the great work. Get water if you need to. We got one more of that right side, one more of that left side, and then we'll switch it up, okay? Here we go. Right side, jab and cross, in three, two, one. Here we go. Fourth squat, jab and cross. Fourth squat, jab and cross. Fourth squat, jab and cross. We got a little tongue tied right there. Keep it up, y'all. I want to see that determination and that focus, so keep it up. Then I'm officially done with the squats for the day, okay? So keep it up, come on. Got five seconds here. Three, two, one. Here we go, left side, four squat jab and cross, come on. Bring it home, y'all. Halfway there. Five seconds. Woo! Three, two, one. Finish that rep up. Shake it out. Grab some water, okay? Woo! All right, this round we're going to be sitting in this chair, but don't worry, we're still going to be working hard. So, this is where our dumbbells are coming back into play, okay? So we're gonna pick up those dumbbells and exercise number one is gonna be a seated shoulder press, okay? We're gonna be sitting in this chair. Our pelvis is still nice and neutral. Holding these dumbbells, palms facing out so they're gonna be facing towards me. And we're gonna press up and down, up and down. That core is still nice and engaged, okay? Exercise number two, we're gonna come a little bit off the chair, okay? Our feet are pressed into the ground, and we're gonna hold these dumbbells at our side. Next, we're gonna pull them up. So we're gonna be doing a chest fly, okay? Pulling up and down, up and down. Okay, take these nice and slow. Reset your form each time if you need to. Okay, that'll help you from preventing to use that lower back when we're wanting all that chest to be working, okay? So here we go, seated chest press, 30 seconds. Y'all can do it in three, Two, one, and press. Remember those palms are toward me. Still bracing that core throughout this exercise. Woo, make sure we're still breathing. Breathe it in through your nose, out through your mouth. We are halfway there. Keep up that good work, okay? Woo, 10 seconds. Keeping those feet flat on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. And quick break, okay? We have 30 seconds for 
for those chest flies. So like I said, we want those shoulders in our back pocket. Our core is nice and braced the whole time. So here we go. We're going to start those uh, dumbbells right here on our side and we're going to pull up. Okay. In three, two, one. We have 30 seconds. Bring them up. Bring them down. Bring them up. Bring them down. Good work, y'all. Now, if you have to reset that form each time, that's fine. We're just going for time here. I want those reps to look nice and strong. Good. We are halfway there, okay? Woo! Keep up the good work. Stay strong. We got one more set of these two exercises. Three, two, one. Woo! Sit back in that chair, y'all. We got that shoulder press coming up. Take a quick sip of water if you need to. Woo! Shake out those shoulders if you need to. In about five seconds, and then we'll go for 30 more seconds with that shoulder press. And three, two, one, and press. Those feet are pressed into the ground. Don't forget to give yourselves a little smile. I swear it pushes you through that workout. We're halfway through this last set of shoulder presses. Woo! Brace that core. Press nice and strong. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. Quick break. Then our last set of chest flies. So go ahead and scoot to the edge of that chair. Feet are pressed into the ground. Just like a squat, we want them really screwed in there, okay? Here we go. Dumbbells on our side in three, two, one. And pull them up and down. Good. Breathe. We're in that final countdown, y'all. Come on. Keep it up. Woo! We got 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out, y'all. Y'all have made it to the end. We're going to just do a quick little cool down here. I'm going to move this chair right here to that side. Woo. We're going to go ahead and take it just like we did that warm up. I want to, we're going to do a quick quad stretch. So we're going to grab that right leg, grab that foot, keeping that knee nice and close. We use those quads a lot today. Woo. Focus on one thing so you can keep your balance. I'm so proud of each and every one of you guys today for completing this workout. Go ahead and switch to that left foot. Take it up. Bring that knee to your right knee. Nice neutral pelvis. You pushed through. You worked hard. Let me know what your favorite exercise was. I think I'm going to stick with the assisted RDL as my favorite. Get in. Bring that leg down. And we're going to go turn over to that forward fold. Reach in for those toes. And stand it up. We're going to interlock those fingers just like this. And we're going to push out. Try to bring those shoulders away from each other. Decreasing that heart rate. Good job. Now we're going to interlock those fingers right behind us here. We're going to pull straight down, okay? Woo! Open up that chest. Good, nice little stretch to finish it off. And thank y'all for joining my 30-minute interval training class. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.